a day at the beach is a great way to enjoy our summer, our beaches here in the Tampa Bay area. And why not take your four legged best friend? But when you go to the beach, there are some safety things you need to keep in mind when you're there with your dog. So we have Martha Bowden, CEO of SPCA Tampa Bay joining us. Great to see you, Martha. Thanks for having me, Roxanne. So when you're out there at the beach, you're thinking to yourself, okay, this is great exercise, but there are some safety precautions to bear in mind. Where do we want to start with how we should watch out for our dogs? Well, let's talk about water, right? You've got your pet, you're at the beach, there's water all around you, but salt water is not something your pet should drink. So you really want to make sure you've got plenty of fresh drinking water available for your pet when you're at the beach. That's a lot of temperature, hot temperatures, and there's a lot of um, body heat that needs to be expended, so fresh water is really important, and salt water can make your pet sick. Another thing to think about is that sand can be really hot on their little feet, so it might seem kind of funny to think about protecting their feet, but you want to be sensitive to how hot the sand is and making sure that your pet's feet stay cool. What are some of the best Pinellas County beaches for taking your walk, dog out to get a good walk? Oh, that's a great question. So we have a whole list of them on our website at spcatampabay.org under our blog, uh, sharing more about dogs at the beach. Um, Fort DeSoto is really my favorite still. That's, I think that's kind of the go-to for most pet owners. Absolutely. And we've been talking about reports of red tide along the coastline in the Pinellas County water areas. What can we do? What do we need to know about red tide when it comes to animals, when it comes to our dogs? Well, of course, dead fish can be just the kind of thing a pet wants to roll in a dog in particular. Although I've seen a few cats go after some of the, uh, the sea life, but it's really important to keep your pet away from um, uh, dead fish on the beach. And you could even see some of the same respiratory issues in your pet that, that humans are seeing around um, uh, blooms of red tide. So just be really careful, keep your pet away from those beaches where you're seeing any uh, indication that there's a problem. And dogs are curious. They love to get into stuff. So you kind of need to keep an eye out when you're taking those wa walks along the beach. Anything you might think of that might be pitfalls or maybe if you're fishing with your dog, what do you need to bear in mind? You're absolutely right. Um, line can get wrapped up in seaweed or in other kinds, you know, branches, things that are along the beach, things that are under your feet. So it's important to look for that because, of course, there can be a hook attached to a line. You want to watch for that sort of stuff. Sharp pieces, pieces of glass, uh, broken cans, even uh, oyster beds can be a problem for your pet. You know, with, with tides coming and going, um, your pet can suddenly have their foot on something really sharp. So it's important to keep an eye on just like you would yourself, um, where those little feet are going and making sure that you're not uh, running the risk of getting any cuts or bruises. And I think it's worth mentioning when you're out there on the beach, especially beaches where dogs like to head out, hopefully every, everybody's having a good time, but you still want to kind of have that dog etiquette and make sure you're watching that your dog doesn't go after other dogs and just keeping it fun and safe. You're exactly right. It's a lot like you think about when you're going to a dog park. There's a lot going on there, and it's easy for humans to get distracted when you've got the beautiful beaches of our community in front of you, and maybe it's a gorgeous day. Um, so it is important to keep an eye on what's happening around you. Um, it's not uncommon for dogs at the beach to be somewhat far from their owners. Um, so that's important to just keep in mind that not every pet that's there may be as friendly as your pet or get along necessarily with your individual animal. And it's also important to watch your pet for any signs of exhaustion or heat stroke. They can get super stimulated and not really be paying attention to their own body. And, and uh, family members, owners can do the same thing. You can kind of lose track of sort of what's happening, but take it easy. Don't throw the ball for 20 minutes, maybe throw it for five minutes. You take your, swimming is really hard work on a pet too. So even though they're in the cool water, if they're swimming, they're using a lot of calories and their body temperature is going up. So think about keeping that exercise on the beach measure just like you would yourself. You want to make it a relaxing time with little bits of fun and activity versus a lot of activity in the heat. These are great tips, great reminders. Thank you so much, Martha. We appreciate your time. If you want to find out more, you can check out spcatampabay.org.